Yeah, very disappointing. Um, our first half did really um, help us, but um, you know, in fairness to Scaries, they were a good side in those conditions. They were able to play good rugby. Um, you know, we we had a purple patch there in the second half where things were going right for us, and if we were able to maybe get up the field um, in a certain so you know, after our last score, um, you know, we might have been able to put them under a bit more pressure. But I can't take it away from Scaries. They were a fine side in the day and totally deserved their victory. Yeah, you spoke about the, the purple patch there. It actually came as, as a result of, well, I suppose, indirectly from the yellow card. Mm. What we were taught that any incident, very high, I know it's a bit of clash of heads, but a yellow card, some, some, some of your spectators are, were calling for, for probably a little bit more. What way do you... Yeah, well, I suppose at the end of the day, you have to, you have to um, note what the referee sees on the pitch. Um, from our side, obviously, we, we felt that he went in recklessly and, um, you know, our player was sent to the sideline, so you know, wasn't able to finish out the, the game, which obviously uh, hurt us in regards to our structures and stuff like that. You know, so we had to change around, guys. But um, you know, it is what it is, and the team are disappointed, more so disappointed in the way they played the first half, which isn't like us out here at home. We, you know, we were we we gave up a lot, um, you know, possession, um, easy scores. So something that we're going to have to look at during this week and try and get us back on track for a tough assignment up in Oma. Yeah, you, you alluded to it there, the home form last season, extremely good home form, I think there's only one or two defeats in the whole season. Yeah. Disappointing there this early on to, to suffer a home defeat. If you yeah. look at the, to amend that in your next home game, also, that's probably not for four or five weeks at this stage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, it's, it's, it's a tough one to take, all right, um, losing at home, you know, in front of your own um, supporters. Um, and, you know, look, we just have to deal with it and we just have to move on and hopefully it'll make our lads a little bit a little bit stronger mentally and and they gotta understand that if they don't perform against good teams, they're gonna be put to the sword. Yeah, it, the disappointment last year losing the, the playoff here to Malahoy to you know to, to, to get promoted promotion. The team seemed to have regrouped anyway, three three wins out of five. So you must be overall I know today's disappointing, but must be overall happy with the First five in the area. Yeah, yeah, progressing. Things were progressing nicely, all right. Okay, we had that um, performance against Middleton, which we weren't happy with, um, and obviously today, you know, we weren't happy with the first half performance, and we were chasing that game, which kind of um, left us vulnerable at times there near the end. We were trying to get that that pass or you know that offload, which resulted in a knock on or you know ball on the ground where they were able to kick through and and get a. Um, you know, get get their scores. You know, so uh, look. At the end of the day, we just have to move on, and we have to assess where where we're going wrong, and you know, just bounce back from it. Yeah, finally, I'd ask this was about the, the club in general. You're, you're always flying the flag for uh, rural rugby in, in in Limerick. You know, the it was the only county team in the area. So what you know. How are things with the club in general through the underage, through the, I suppose, the, 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 you know, their under 20s teams and your, your second string stuff like that? How, how are things with the club in, in, that, sort, in that way? I know the, the club is um, in a very good place underage. You've got teams from um, sevens up to 18s, and then we have our 20s and, and seconds and first senior team. Um, you know, it's, the, the numbers are great. There's great interest around the locality. Um, and, you know, it's good to see you here on a Sunday morning. Uh, all the kids wearing the yellow jerseys and you know um, playing playing for the, the the rural club, where look at the end of the day we have to develop our own lads, and if we can do that, which we are, there's a lot of good coaches, a lot of time going into this club at underage level, um, and you know they're getting the results. So it, the signs are good for the club, and we we'll keep pushing on. But some days like today, you know, it's just it is hard to take. Um, especially at home and look as you said we'll be playing here in a couple of weeks and we'll try to amend that 